Now once I've fi finished the presentation, I've got to put it in my drawing file. So I've got a drawing file already opened here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a base, find my presentation that I just created. Now of course it's right here, uh, it's actually, if I wanted to, if I have it opened, I actually can find it here. Um, it's not there, but let's find uh, the presentation. Actually, that's, is that it? Yeah, that's it there. So again, I'm going to go to and find the version, I, the view I want. I like that view right there. Finish custom. So I did the view right here. Put it here. I'm going to change the size. So we'll go to 1 to 2, see what that size is. Uh, looks pretty good. We'll click right there and put it in there. Now yours isn't going to have all these problems. I've got different things we're trying to find. It's trying to find them and so forth. There it is right there. Opens that up. Now hit escape because I'm done putting them in. I'm going to double click on this. Double click on this. Change it to color so it's got color to it. There it's done. Now my next step is I'm going to move it over a little bit by grabbing that line. If you grab this hit line right there, you can move it over. Now I'm going to do my annotations. So I click on annotate. I go to my bubbles, auto balloons, I'm going to change it to balloons. I, you can do auto balloons if you want, but auto balloons, uh, if I do auto balloons, you'll see how uh, I click on this here. Select view. Anyhow, I, I don't like auto balloons. You can do it. It won't let me set the view. But uh, again, I always do manual balloons. I like that. And then what you've got to do is you've got to click on the edge of each part. See the edge right there? I click on this edge. I drag out. I click left click again. And right mouse click and say continue. Grab this one. Now you're going to notice that this one is saying that's number two because this is actually number one. Inventor's already dis decided what, which part is what number. So if I grab this one, I'm not sure what number that is. Well, that one they're saying that's number one. Click, right mouse click, continue. Click on this one here, drag out. Click again, left click, and then right mouse click, continue. That's four. Click, grab, drag out. Click, right mouse click, continue and click on the edge. Notice I'm click on the edge, not on the uh, middle part. Click, right mouse click, and continue. If I don't like the way where it's where it's selected, I'm going to hit escape now because I'm done with my balloons. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to grab this arrow and I'm going to move it a little bit so it's a little easier to see. Let's see all these other ones. If I don't, Let's say, for instance, this was way over here. It doesn't look good. I can grab that and move it there. Now the balloons are up. I've got to create my parts list. T to create my parts list, I'm going to click on parts list right up here. This opens up. The document is the one I already have right there. This one right here, you can see how it's opened. Okay, so I click on there to get to it. Once I've got that, all I do is hit OK. I'll select View. Uh, actually, I'll just hit OK. There it is right there. I'll put it in the bottom corner here. There it is right there. Okay, now, um, I don't like, like, I don't want this description here. I can make it smaller by clicking on it and dragging this button right here. I can make it smaller if I want to. A lot of things I can do with it there to make it shorter. Shorter, I think it's not going to be able to be shorter, but at least I could make it smaller if I wanted to. But if I only to change something like description here, I don't want description to be here. So I'm going to double click on this. The window will open up. This first tab right here says column chooser. I click on that. I click on description and click remove. Hit OK. You'll notice now if I hit apply, description is gone. The next step I want to do is I want to change these part number because I don't want them to say AT underscore PC underscore red. I want to just say red and have it all capital letters. So I'm going to hit my cap locks and I'm going to type in R-E-D. You're going to notice how it turns blue. The reason why it's turning blue is because it's telling you it's no longer the part file name. This is the actual part file name. And I don't want to have it th that. So this is my maroon. This is my orange. And one, what is that one? That's red. Oh. That's five. What's five? Five is purple. I'm not sure why it's called that. Probably because it didn't. So we'll call it purple. Once that's all done, I hit apply. You'll see now it's changed over there. I'll hit OK. Now I'm going to make it a little smaller so it fits a little better. There we go. There's my parts list of all the different numbers. If I need to change this stuff, obviously, remember how to do that. Double click on field text. I can go ahead and put my name. Um, Click on this little tab up here. Let's see here. There it is. The project title. Here we go. Um, Puzzle Cube. 
and do a scale. I think it was one to two is my scale for this one. And this is my last name, first name, hit OK. Now that stuff comes down here. Okay? This is how you do this. And then after I do that, I save it and I'm all done.